Hi everyone. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area on this T-shirt Thursday. T-shirt. T-shirt Thursday. I'm going to let y'all take a look at my T-shirt. T-shirt Thursday, you guys. <laughs> wow. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5 p.m. Stop. All right, all right, all right. Let me see if this works. Alexa, when is Audrey's reading area? Hmm, I'm not sure. She just never does it for me. Okay, let me ask this. I didn't catch that. Alexa, say that again? what time is Audrey's reading area? I didn't catch that. Alexa, say that again? stop. I'm going to try it one more time with her. Alexa, what time is... I didn't o catch that. Please say that again. It worked yesterday. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area at 5 o'clock p.m. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I finally got it to work. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yes, I have fun with these Alexa things. Oh, my goodness. Yes, this is T-shirt Thursday, T-shirt Thursday, and I do have another fun and exciting book I'll be reading to you guys. Yes, 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 you know, you know what I'm going to say. Smash that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that like button, click that share button so everyone else can get to see me read this fun and exciting book called Penny, you Penny, Penny and the Magic Puff Balls. Penny and the Magic Puff Balls. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this book says. We're going to have fun with this one. It says on the back, I'm going to read the back first. Penny wanted to wear her hair down like all the other girls in her class. She wondered why her friends had long straight hair and she did not. Hmm. She wondered why her friends had, had long straight hair and she, she didn't. And, but her hair is beautiful. Some people don't realize their hair is beautiful. Okay. Feeling different made her sad. Hmm. Penny's mom assures Penny that her hair is perfect. And just because it's different, it doesn't mean it's bad. She decides to style Penny's hair in puffballs. Penny soon d discovers that wonderful magic things happen when she wears her hair in puffballs. When she wears those puffballs, magic happens. Through a series of whimsical adventures, the story reinforces the message of self-acceptance. Yes, self-acceptance and celebrates diversity. The author's goal is to help instill a sense of pride in young girls who may feel singled out because of their hair. Mm. Join Penny on her magical adventure and watch as she discovers the power of her magic puffballs. Mm-mm. Sounds like fun. Penny and her magic, Penny and the magic puffballs. By the way, this was written by Alonda Williams and is illustrated by Tyrus Gaucher. Oh, we're going to have fun with this one. Let's go. Let us go. It says, one day, Penny, Grace, and Simone were riding on the bus home from school. Grace said, my mom just gave me three new headbands and she said I can give you each one because you are my best friends. I'll bring them in tomorrow and we can all wear them. Okay, said Simone, let's all wear our hair down and we'll wear your new headbands. Can you take out your braids, Penny, and just wear your hair down? Asked Grace. I think so, Hope Penny. I'll ask my mom. Mm. When Penny got home, she hugged her mother and said, Mom, can I wear my hair down? What do you mean by down? Asked Mom. Mm. Penny exclaimed, Mom, all the girls in my class wear their hair down. I want to wear my hair out, you know, with no braids or anything, just out. My hair is so different and I want to be like everyone else. Mm -mm. Let's be like everybody else. Penny's mom was sad to hear 
that Penny wanted to change her braids. Until now, Penny had loved her braids. Penny's mom sighed deeply and looked into her daughter's eyes with love. Oh, honey, your hair is very beautiful. Yes, it's different from your friend's hair, but different doesn't mean bad. Different is special. Mm hmm. Special? What's so special about my hair? Penny asked. Uh oh. What's so special about my hair? Mm hmm. I always have it braided in the same style. Oh. Well, Penny, your hair can be styled in so many ways. Look at these pictures from when I was a little girl. I wore my hair in many different ways. I wore curls, braids, ponytails too. But my most favorite style of all was my puff balls. Mm. My magic puff balls. You know what, Penny? Tomorrow we're going to style your hair in puff balls. Really? What are puff balls and why are they magic? Said Penny. You'll see, said her mom. You'll see. She's going to see. That night, Penny couldn't stop thinking about those magic puff balls. What could they be? And why did her mom say they were magic? Hmm. The next morning after Penny got dressed and ready for school, she was ready for her new hairstyle. She settled in. She settled in between her mom's knees and her mom began taking out the braids. Just a few more minutes and we'll be done, her mom said. Penny was so excited. She couldn't wait to see what the magic puff balls looked like. Oh boy. Okay, go look at the mirror, announced mom. Finally, thought Penny, finally. She jumped up and ran to the mirror. The braids were gone. Instead, her hair was parted down the middle. <laughs> Each side was puffed into high ponytails with her hair puffed out into soft cotton candy puffs. Oh, mom, this is so cute. I love it, said Penny. These are your magic puff balls, said her mom. But mom, why do you call them magic? I mean, can I do magic tricks now, like uh, like pull a rabbit out of a hat? Mom laughed. Well, Penny, my mom always told me that magic things could happen when I wore my puff balls. I always believed they gave me the power to do anything. And yours will too. So don't be surprised if magical things happen when you wear your puff balls. Sounds exciting, right? Penny felt excited. She couldn't wait to go to school. She skipped outside to the bus stop and waved goodbye to her mother. The magic puff balls put an extra bounce in her step. She wondered what magical things would happen today. Penny hopped on the school bus and sat near her friends, Grace and Simone. Grace's blonde hair fell to her shoulders and she was wearing her new pink headband. Ooh, I like your hair, Grace blurted. It looks like cotton candy, but brown, not pink. Yes, and it feels like cotton candy too, smiled Penny. Can I touch them, asked Grace. <laughs> sure, but be careful. These are my magic puff balls, replied Penny. Wow, magic, cool, said Grace. Yes, they have magic powers. And my mom says magic things can happen when I wear my puff balls. I can't wait to see what happens, said Grace. Me too, thought Penny. Penny went into Mrs. Bethia's class and hung up her backpack. As she was putting her book into her desk, she felt something stuck in the corner. She pulled out her purple pencil. That pencil, that pencil, the pencil that had been lost for three weeks. She loved that pencil. The magic puffballs are already working. At lunch, Penny sat down next to Grace. So did any magic happen yet? Asked, uh, said Grace. Well, I think so, said Penny. You see this pencil? I lost it a long time ago and I was so sad. I mean, this is my most favorite pencil ever. I looked everywhere. I looked at my desk, on the floor, in my backpack, everywhere. 
And then today, thanks to my magic puff balls, I found it. Bamo! Just like that. Thanks to the magic puff balls. Just like that. Wow, Gray said, do you really think it was the magic puffballs? Absolutely, said Penny. That pencil was really lost, nowhere to be found. Wow. After lunch back in the classroom, Mrs. Bathia announced that it was time for the spelling test. Penny was nervous. She had studied, but these words were very hard. When she practiced at home, she kept getting the same words wrong. Oh no, she asked herself. Is it there or there? T-H-E-I-R or T-H-I-E-R? She was feeling very nervous. But Mrs. when Mrs. Bathia began to read the words for the spelling test, the letters just popped into Penny's head. She didn't have to think too hard. Even the tricky words just came to her. Like magic. Penny felt so great and so smart, she finished the test knowing she had done well. Mm, purple pencil. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. When it was time to pass her paper to her neighbor, Ivy, for correcting, Penny felt proud. As the teacher read the correct spelling of each word, Penny knew she had them all right. Her classmate, Ivy, said, Penny, you got a hundred. Penny was thrilled to see that she had gotten them all correct, even the tricky words. 100%. She, she thought, this must be the magic of my puffballs. At recess, the girls liked to play jump rope and the boys played soccer. Over here, Penny, play with us, called Penny's friend, Simone. Okay, sighed Penny. Everyone knew Penny wasn't very good at jumping rope. In fact... She was the worst jumper and usually got the lowest score. What do you guys think happened, huh? What do you guys think? Hmm, let's see. Grace went first. As she jumped, everyone counted. The goal was to see who could jump the longest without stumbling or tripping the, on the rope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone chanted as Grace jumped. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Grace kept jumping all the way to 47. Next, it was Simone's turn. Simone was very good at jumping and always jumped over 50 jumps. She was usually the winner. The girls counted and Simone kept jumping 33, 34, 35, 36, and jumping. 51, 52, 53, 54. Simone jumped all the way to 65. 65. All right, Penny, okay, it's your turn. Aw, oh, you know I'm not as good as you are, Penny said. Just give it a try, said Simone. Come on, all you need is a little more practice, said Grace. Penny really made it past 25 jumps. She stared at the turning ropes and thought, if there's any magic in at all in these puffballs, I sure need it now. Mm-mm. Penny slowly approached the rope and jumped in. One, two, three, four. Penny started feeling good. 21, 22, 23, 24. Penny jumped and jumped. 56, 57, 58, 59. Grace and Simone were smiling and their grins grew bigger with each jump. 99, 100, 101, 102. The girls counted higher and higher as Penny kept jumping. Soon a small crowd surrounded Penny. Wow. 151, 152, 153. Whoa. How high could she go? 200, 201, 202. The playground was quiet except for the jump, jump, jump of Penny's feet. Wow. It's time to break it up, girls, called the teacher. Recess is over. Penny didn't want to stop jumping. But finally, Grace and Simone stopped turning the jump rope. So everyone started clapping and clapping. Hey, have you been practicing, Simone asked. I uh just got better, 
whispered Petty. But she knew there was only one explanation. Her magic and wonderful puffballs. <laughs> On the bus ride home from school, Grace said, Wow, those puffballs sure are magic. Yes, they are, said Penny. I wish I could have, I could have puffballs, said Grace. Would you ask your mom if she could do my hair in puffballs? <laughs> I'll ask, but I'm not sure if it's possible. Puffballs are a really special thing that my hair can do. Your hair is different. Not bad, just different. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. When Penny got off the bus, she raced to the front door. Mommy, Mommy, you were so right. My hair is special and my puffballs are magic. I love them so much. I want to wear my hair like this every day. Penny's mom smiled with satisfaction. Mom, you won't believe what happened today, said Penny as she walked towards her house. Her mom was not sure she was ready for what was to come. Penny began to explain everything. Aw. Aw. Later, when Penny went to bed, she was too excited to sleep. Her mind raced ahead. It just raced ahead. What would happen tomorrow and the next day? Wonderful adventures were in store for Penny and her puffballs. And then they crossed it out. I mean... Magic puffballs. And this is power. Puffballs. Puffball power. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't that a wonderful story? And they have in the back, I love this because they have some pictures of real girls. Different real girls. Um, yes, real girls with their puff. But they're here puffed up. Look. I will go up, 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 and up so you can take a look at these girls. Beautiful young ladies with their puffy, puffball, magical puffballs in their hair. Yes. Yes. You see it? I absolutely, absolutely love this book. I thought it was fun. I hope you do too. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here as I read Penny. And the magic puffballs. I thought it was a fun book. Again, again. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget, go on over to YouTube, smash that subscribe button, click like, click share, share with everybody. Everybody needs, everybody needs to get to hear me read these books. All right, all right, all right. And I will see you again tomorrow live at five. Live at five. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only a day away. It's only a day away, you guys. I will see you soon. And thank you. Shout outs to my mom. Shout out to my mom, Beth. Thank you for always being here for me. All right, all right, all right. Love you, mom. Be here tomorrow live at 5. Audrey's reading area.